In our previous videos, we have discussed how to acquire, quantitate, and analyze data. Now we have a finalized data file that we want to report on. In this video guide, we will go over how to use the basic reporting options within LabSolution software to generate a report highlighting any aspects of the data you acquired. To begin, within PostRun, select Data Analysis. Once you have opened a data file within PostRun, you will see a Data Report option in the top of the Assistant bar on the left-hand side. To view or edit a report on the currently open data file, click on the Data Report icon. The data report icon opens up with a default data report template that Shimanzu has created for you. Please note that at the bottom of the data analysis window is still open as indicated by the tab. This goes to stress the point that each data file has its own individual report format that is unique to it. When you save the data file with changes made to the report format, the report is saved as part of the data file. This page is referred to as the report format editor. It is important to note how the page is displayed in the editor is not always reflective of how the report will print out to a PDF or a printer. It is best practice to always click on the preview icon to confirm the layout of your report when printing is as you intended when in editor. When in report format editor, each item or field will have options associated with it. In order to make changes to a given item on the page, right click and select properties. Depending on which item you are right clicking on, you will have different options available. In this case, I am right-clicking on the Sample Information field, which allows me to change the information displayed within it. The box on the left shows information that will be displayed in the Sample Information, while the box on the right shows the variables you can choose to display. Next to this example, I am right-clicking on the chromatogram and selecting Properties. Under the Chromatogram tab, you can select which detector and or channel you would like to display. You also have options for specific visuals on the chromatogram such as baseline and peak detection mark. Additionally, you can have the scale automatically defined based on the range of data. Next, under the Peak Top Comment tab, you can specify what peak top comment or comments you would like to be displayed. By default, the retention time is selected. You can choose to add or remove any option for the peak comment listed in the left column. Additionally, you can also adjust the angle at which the peak comment is displayed, as well as the font, style, and size. Under the Setting Scale tab, you have additional customization options for setting the time scale and intensity scale. You can, as in the Chromatogram tab, select the intensity range automatically or manually. You can also scale the overall time automatically or select a specific window of time manually. One of the more underutilized features within Lab Solutions is the ability to visualize traces. Under the LC status tab, you will see a list of trace items such as pump pressure, temperature, flow, and concentration. When you add any of these items to the displayed column, they will overlay with your chromatogram to show the time correlation. You can then independently scale each trace. As you can see in this example, it is very valuable information to overlay your gradient concentration, pump pressure, and chromatogram to see the time correlation between them. To report on the actual quantified results, you will need to have a peak table. To see options available for you to customize the peak table, right click on it and select properties. Under the peak table tab, you will have a list of items on the left that are available but hidden and a list of items on the right that are currently being displayed. You can select to display any option in any order in the peak table. The column order is top to bottom is left to right. You can also adjust the width of the column by adjusting the reference string value. You can also adjust the column heading, labeled as column index, to help you narrow the column widths without cutting off any text. As an example, you can shorten the limit of detection to LOD to help keep the column width down. So far we have been working within the predefined fields for a data report. I want to go over briefly the available item options that you have to add to any report. From the menu, select items and you will see a list of the items broken down by type. Under Common, you have System Configuration, Sample Information, Method, Batch Table, System Check, and Audit Trail. Under Analysis Common, you have Chromatogram, Calibration Curve, Peak Table, Quantitative Results, Group Results, Fraction Collection Report, Summary Concentration, Summary Compound, Summary Data, and Status Information. Under Figures, you have options for adding in geometric shapes as well as text overlays and pictures. If you are reporting on PDA data, you will have item options for contour graph, 3D graph, UV spectrum, peak purity, peak profile, UV spectrum, index, UV library search, 
and UV library. If you are reporting on GPC or SEC samples, you will have options for GPC calibration curve, GPC graph, GPC overlay, GPC calculation results, and GPC summary. In addition to having those options available from the drop-down menu, they also are available as icons in the action toolbar. Once you have selected the item, either through the drop-down menu or the action toolbar icon, all you need to do is then drag a field in the editor page below to create that item on the page. One other convenient feature of Lab Solutions reporting is the availability to copy and paste images from other Lab Solutions views into your report. In this case, I have a data comparison view that I want to include in this report, so all I need to do is from the data comparison, copy the image, and then once back in the report editor, paste it, move it to where I want it, and then scale it accordingly. If in the process of working on a report format, you would like to save it as a template to use with future files, all you need to do is go up to File and select Save Report Format as a Template. This will keep all of your current property settings and positioning to be used with future data files. Shimadzu also provides some pre-made report templates for you to start with. You can find these templates under the Lab Solutions folder, Sample folder, LC folder. Once you have selected that project folder, notice now all the available report templates in the Data Explorer window. Make sure you have the Report Templates tab selected at the bottom of the Data Explorer window if you don't initially see them. These report templates have been made for you either as a final solution or as a starting point for you to make your own custom report template. They are intuitively named to reflect their purpose. In this case, I am opening a summary report template. Once it is opened, I will need to select the data files I would like to be used in this report. To do this, go to Properties and then select the File tab. Click on the Add button and select the data files you would like to have included in the report. Again, remember that what you see in the editor view isn't always what you will get in the actual print view. Please use your print preview option to visualize how the report will actually be printed. In this example, the difference is quite apparent. If you would like to create an entire report format or template from scratch, you can also do that. Go to File and then select New Report Format File. This will provide you a blank page in the editor for you to start building your own custom report. As mentioned previously, when creating your report, once the item you want to insert is selected, drag and drop a box in the report where you want that item to be displayed. In this example, I am recreating the basic components that are already included in the default data report template that we began in this video with. Notice that each time I create an item, I need to select the data file to populate it. Once I have the data file selected, I can go in and change the properties to adjust the view as I wish. Thank you for watching this guide on basic reporting in Lab Solutions Workstation software. For additional videos, please visit our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or need additional support, please contact us by calling our customer support phone number. Excellence in science. Shimazu.